Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Reagan. If you're new here, and today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day along with a little something else. Um, so yeah, basically, I woke up, had some breakfast. So I ate breakfast before I ran, so I didn't want something super heavy or super filling. Um, because I ate like right after I woke up, so around 7.15ish, and then ran like 30 minutes later and lifted after that. So I just had a bowl of vanilla Greek yogurt and some chocolate granola. tried to eat pretty healthy this whole summer so this is like I'm not in a diet or strict thing but just trying to eat healthier right something that's sustainable not crazy but just also good for my body right so um the yogurt is pretty low in sugar for most yogurts and then the granola I need to go back and look at it but I know when I bought it I purposely was making sure it's low sugar even though there is chocolate in it I just threw some fresh raspberries on top as well and ate that nothing super heavy it's definitely hungry but I wasn't I ended up eating at like one so it's not like it filled me up pretty well <laughs> lunchtime I have no idea what I'm eating or making or what food we have but I'm gonna see what we have and then make something with that I guess I don't know we'll um so we don't have any sandwich bread like at all no wraps because I normally have like big tortillas to make wraps um no frozen pizzas literally nothing so we might have to pick something up I don't know I'll go talk to my mom but I'm trying to think because we literally okay um you literally have no food Kind of at a loss here. Okay, we're trying to figure out a place to like pick up food from. But I have Panera multiple times a week in this movable place. I've had them a lot recently. It's because they're the only like healthy place to like pick up food from. So then for lunch, sorry, I got like very little clips of this, but we had Jersey Mike's. And so I got the bacon ranch chicken cheese steak sandwich, hot one. So it just has like Bacon, lettuce, tomato, white American cheese, ranch dressing, and chicken. And I added avocado to that and put it on the whole wheat bread just to make it feel healthier. You know, a little extra effort there. It's really, really good. Obviously, it's not the healthiest thing in the world, but it's not like fried chicken or like a fast food burger or something like that. A food for snacks. So I got snacks to bring on the plane, the hotel, when we're staying in the conference. Because I don't know what the food situation is going to be like. So now we get a fun Target haul to make up for my lesser footage earlier. I'm going to go through and show you these snacks I tried to get that were relatively healthy. Because here's my thing. I try to get low sugar in snacks because I love dessert. Um, so I try to limit the sugar the other day. So if I do have a dessert or a sweet at night, it's not a huge deal. Better this summer than during the school year of not having dessert every night. Uh, but, like, if I do have dessert, like, last night I had one left, and they're these, like, from Trader Joe's. They're these mint ice cream Oreo, like, sandwiches, but they're super light. They're not heavy and just, like, two little chocolate cookies with mint ice cream. Um, but it's, like, good portion control for that, I guess. First snack I got was Skinny Pop. Yum. Uh, I just got a big bag, but I figured that'd be easier than a bunch of little bags, like, blowing up from the air on the plane. I figured this was the least messy for the plane, and also it's just generally better for you there's no extra like because the kettle corn won't have a lot of sugar and stuff so next up i have an unhealthy um addiction maybe you might say just i eat a ton of protein bars like a on what, just like protein bars at least i'd say i have one almost probably six times a week maybe five but like I eat them a lot and I try to get different durants with different flavors. I don't even know if that's like healthy for you. It's probably not, but here we are with more protein bars. So this is the Think brand. I've had their peanut butter ones and they're really, really good and their chocolate like cupcake. I might have one more, I don't know. Maybe for my snack. But this is the Lemon Delight. So it's like every bar, all my snacks are like chocolate peanut butter flavored. So this could be really gross and part of me feels like it will be because it's not chocolate or peanut butter. But I figured I'd give it a try. And I, I love lemon bars. And I'm aware that's not what I'm going to get. But we'll give it a shot. You know, something. Change it up a little bit. A little different. 
I figured I needed some sort of non granola bar fruit, but like something with fruit in it. And I can't just bring fresh fruit with me, right? So there are these that's it strawberry and banana mixed fruit bars so they're just like these little things and the ingredients are literally just apples and strawberries or just apples and bananas so like they have to be good for you because there's literally not any like thing else in it so pretty handy there i don't think i've tried these before more protein bars these aren't like as they're protein they're protein bars but i don't think they're like the thing bars where there's like just protein powder like you know they're chalky kind of these are RX bars. I used to have these every day and I kind of got with them. But I grabbed these simply for the fact that they have mini ones. And I thought that would be really nice if I'm kind of hungry in between when we're walking around. But not starving, you know, you feel me? Peanut butter chocolate, which is what I always have. And then chocolate sea salt. Um, chocolate sea salt's good too. You know, that's nice. And zero, zero added sugars. And so does these have zero added sugars? Actually, everything I have right now is zero added sugars. So doing good. Then the last snack I got something a little savory. Oh, a little weird. Not gonna lie, but I've had them before, and they're good. I what I remember leave a little odd aftertaste, which means you just keep eating them, which is probably bad. But they're actually pretty good. Snaps: red lentil snack crisps, tomato and basil. Just something to mix up the palate. You know, do a little variety of flavors. So, for my snack, it is 4.30, and I'm having a Think High Protein Bar. Um, <laughs> shocker. So, this is the chocolate and cream cupcake flavor, it looks like. Um, this one is a little bit uh, higher in calories, and it's two grams of sugar, so not like a concerning amount, but like compared to the other flavors. More in a dessert mood, you know, it's always a good one. Right, like this. It is a little dense to chew. But it's not super chalky because there's like layers, um, if you can see that. Um, so there's like a frosting flavor and then like I guess the cake layer, but it's like the protein bar aspect of it. Um, okay, so for dinner, we had steak tacos. So my mom just kind of like had the tortillas and everything out and we just added what we wanted. Basically, I had corn tortillas and then the steak had some really yummy sauce on it. And then we do feta, tomatoes, and avocado. And I ended up having three of those. I did my third one on flour. Not as good, but the corn were falling apart. So that's that. Relatively healthy. You know, definitely not bad for you. It's not the healthiest thing ever, but still pretty good. Definitely filling. And then we went and swam. After I swam, you know, wasn't super hungry, but even swimming, we were in the pool for like an hour. I wanted some ice cream. So what I'm about to show y'all, it was, it's like this healthy ice cream. And so it's less calories. I'm sure there's about the same amount of sugar, but it's way less calories than like a normal ice cream. The texture, it's definitely different. Um, it's an acquired taste for sure. So mine's cookies and cream and there's very little cookies in it. It's mainly cream and it just kind of tastes like vanilla extract if I'm being honest. And the texture's not like creamy ice cream. You can more bite it and not as creamy and dairy feeling as normal ice cream. Um, but it still, you know, satisfy, satisfies that craving. So that's what I ate today every day is a little different but i hope you enjoyed this video um if you did give it a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all next time bye